Moorhead head coach Christian Nelson. The second time, I beefed the first one. Coach Nelson, yeah, got a 125 pound All American and Cole Jones. Yeah beast of a regional, 125 pounds, was crazy in the NSIC. He comes through, he's wrestling for seventh year in a little bit. Talk a little bit about his tournament and how he's been for you guys all season long. Yeah, you know, this is Cole's second year. He started for us last year as a true freshman. He's out of Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Um, Cole's just a hard worker. He's a grinder. Uh, one way that he really wins his matches is he, uh, he relies on his conditioning. And he's, a, he's a scrambler. He can wrestle well in all positions, but he's always moving forward and he's always on the offense. Uh, like you said, he came out of a very tough region. Uh, he had some good wins this year in our in duels. He uh, beat Malik Williams, a national runner-up from Upper Iowa, and he also beat Brett Velasquez of St. Cloud State in duels. So we know he has the tools to be a national champion, and he put together a good regional tournament. He ended up getting third there, uh, moved on to the national here. He wasn't seated. Uh, he beat Pavlik McKendry uh, in his first round, and I think he beat him by three or four points, and he was the sixth seed, I believe, and I believe he's in for fifth and sixth year or also possibly moving on to third and fourth. But uh, Cole's wrestling for seventh and eighth. Um, can't ask for a better kid. Uh, he comes in the room, works hard, does all the right things for you in the wrestling room, puts in the extra time. And, you know, I think he's really fortunate to have two great assistant coaches. He's got uh, Blake Bosch, our national runner-up and three-time All-American from Minnesota State Moorhead. Uh, that's out of Ashley Wishick, North Dakota, another North Dakota guy. And then you got Justin Solberg, who wrestled for North Dakota State University in Ottawa, in North Dakota, another North Dakota guy. So it's great to see those two and the impact that they have on Cole and what they do for him. And a lot of his success is due to those two coaches. The other uh, national qualifier had, also a North Dakota guy, he's Jordan yep. Magnuson out of Valley City. Uh, Coach, interesting the story there. You had a different heavyweight to start the year, got injured, Magnuson comes in has a very nice end of the season for you guys, qualifies for nationals. Now the national tournament probably didn't go as well as you guys would have liked for him, but uh, how important was he to your guys' team and, and really helping you fill a big void uh, when Erkenbach went down? Yeah, he did fill a void. We were uh, very nervous of what we were gonna do at heavyweight at that time. Um, Sam Erkenbach was having a great year for us first semester. He had some really good wins. Uh, and then we went out to California around Christmas break and we were wrestling in the Menlo Invitational and he blew out his ACL, so he had ACL surgery here two weeks ago, so hoping to get him back next year. But it was great that Jordan stepped up, uh, got back in the room, and, and we got him here to the national tournament. Uh, he had a great football season. The football team had a great season. So this is his second postseason tournament that he's competing in. Uh, they made a playoff game this year, so had a good football season there. But uh, Jordan didn't have any practices under his belt. Uh, and we picked him up at the Valley City gas station on our way to the University of Mary and Minot duel and brought his shoes with and everything. He hadn't even stepped in the room yet and had to practice. So uh, we are very appreciative of him doing that. But then we got some practices under his belt and he started improving. And of course, it takes a while to get into wrestling shape. Wrestling shape and, and football shape are two different things. But uh, we started to get him there. And we have Tyler Lehman as his coach, another North Dakota guy. And Tyler does a great job with him. So. Uh, you know, he's, he's taken steps and I think he's hungry now and he realizes that he can compete at this level. Uh, he had a good regional tournament and he fell to Jordan Will of Minot State uh, in the finals. But now I, I, I really feel that he, he's going to dedicate himself and commit himself to uh, next season in wrestling. And of course, he'll have to wrestle off Sam Erkenbrack. But what a great problem to have as a head coach to have two heavyweights like that. So, but uh, Jordan came into the tournament here and, you know, he went 0-2, but what a great experience. He's only a redshirt sophomore. He's got two more years of eligibility for us, so he's got a bright future with our wrestling program. So I want to talk about a guy who did not qualify but had a great for, career for you guys in 174-pounder uh, Adam Blaze. He was a four-year starter for you. Yeah. Uh, I know he holds a special place in your heart. Um, yeah. You know, he, he doesn't get the final job done by, by qualifying for NCAAs, but what has he meant to your program over the last four years? A guy who's been always there, you know, always competing, always competing at a high level for you now, and uh, you know, is obviously moving on and graduating this spring. Yep. Uh, what a great individual, what a great family. Uh, his parents, uh, Chris and, and Jeff Police, are at every competition there to support the program. And then you have Adam, like you said, a four-year starter. Uh, what a great leader. Did all the right things on and off the mat for us. Not only a great wrestler, but also a great student. And just a great all-around person. But, uh, you know, one thing that really sticks out to me with Adam was he does the extra things. You know, he, he comes into the room early. He comes in and does morning workouts even when we're not doing morning runs. He comes and he 
comes into the office and he wants to watch video or wants to go down to the wrestling room and work on technique. He's a mat rat, you know, and, and I think he probably gets that coming from Bismarck High and Coach Jeff Schumacher. Um, but, you know, he's in there every day and he's working hard. And he, he had some great tournaments, you know. He was runner-up this year at the Midwest Classic and, and he has the tools. And, you know, unfortunately he didn't make the national tournament. It was a very tough weight class, but, you know, he had a good career and, and we're really going to miss him. Uh, you know, another thing with him was, you know, I'm hoping that the other individuals saw his work ethic and that these younger guys on our team, we have a lot of freshmen and sophomores, see that, you know, that's what you need to do if you're going to have success. You need to put in the extra time. You need to stay after practice. You need to come in early. And then on top of that, Adam was also a great coach in the room. You know, he is unbelievably technically sound. So he would keep guys after practice and, and work with them on their technique and help them with their career, which was nice to see. And like you said, he's going to be moving on. He's going to be graduating with a business degree here. I uh, would love to keep him around as a coach, but I know he wants to get back to the Bismarck area. So someone in the Bismarck area, you know, they might get lucky uh, having Adam help either at the college level or one of the high school levels there, but uh, he'd be a great coach, and uh, we're truly going to miss him. You also had 141-pounder out of Bismarck and Hunter, or excuse me, Mason Schultz. Uh, Mason had a, a really nice regional tournament for a freshman, obviously. We saw what he's capable of. I mean, I was talking to you earlier. He puts up big points against the number two seed. Um, I saw him wrestle just some fabulous matches, uh, you know, all year long down in Indy as well. And he's, he's, just, he's just got so much great stuff. What's it going to take to turn that corner for him? So he's here next year. I know, I know you've got to be uh, really excited to be getting him for three more years here coming up. Yeah, he, uh, Mason Schultz has the tools to be a national champion, hands down. Um, has to get a little more, you know, consistency. Yep. He, can, he can go out there and he can beat some really good guys, and then there's times where he can maybe wrestle down to someone's level. So we got to make sure that he's going out there and he's wrestling a full match. But again, a very technical wrestler that can put a lot of points on the board really quick. Um, he's a hard worker. He comes into the room. He does the right things on and off the mat again. Um, but you know, I see him being a 141 pounder for us the next three years. You know, one thing I always have to remind him of: he was a little down and out, which is good, you know, because it means a lot to him and it shows his coaches that it means a lot to him when he didn't qualify for the national tournament. He was a little down and out on that, of course. He ended up placing fifth at the regional tournament, um, but he had a good regional tournament. You know, he showed us some flashes throughout the year that he can beat some of the best guys in the country. He beat Louis Sanders from Mankato, who's here wrestling. He beat the Wisconsin Parkside guy that I believe was the number two seed in our regional tournament, and he took it to him. Um, I think what he's going to need is he's going to need a little more consistency. He's going to need a summer in the weight room. And one thing I got to keep reminding him of is he's a redshirt freshman. Okay, he had a great season for a redshirt freshman, and he's got three more years to build on that. And I see him definitely being all American material, material, and pushing to be on top of that podium. Coach, you're always involved with USA wrestling related stuff in North yep. Dakota. You're going to be doing some of that this summer. Yeah, I plan to do that this summer as long as we don't have family things getting in the way or any weddings or anything like that. So hoping to help coach uh, Team North Dakota and the junior dual team and, and head out to Tulsa, Oklahoma with them and with Coach Melmer, and he always does a great job. It's nice to see North Dakota getting more numbers in the freestyle and Greco, and that's one thing I always urge the high school coaches in the area, Minnesota or North Dakota, get your kids involved in the freestyle and the Greco. And it's just going to make them that much better wrestlers come high school season and then hopefully push them out to some of the colleges in the area. Hopefully Minnesota State Moorhead, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's always a fun thing to do. And, and we've got some other college coaches that help with that, with Coach Forty and Coach Llewellyn and Coach Aho and, you know, and some of the NDSU coaches. So it's, it's a good time to get together with those guys and, and, and visit on wrestling and, and build some camaraderie there, too. So. Coach, congrats on another great year, another All-American. Anything else from you? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, Go North Dakota High School Wrestling and uh, go Cole Jones. Let's finish this season off and, and end up in seventh place and, and then move forward next year and hopefully be on the top of the podium as a national champion.